Well, with schools back in session, families are buying supplies, and some of those items are tech items. The BBC's Susan Boland is here with tips on technology purchasing. Good morning. Good morning. What do we need to know before we buy? Because those, those are usually big dollars. Absolutely, and that's one of the biggest things that um, you know you want to think about before you get started is that uh, to find your very best value and to make sure that you're safe with your purchases, you may want to do some research right up front to make sure you know the specific type of item that you need and the specifications for that item uh, to help your student with the task that they're gonna need this year. So you may wanna make sure that you know things in advance, like um, if you need a lot of memory, will the item need to have graphic capabilities? Does it have the right processing speed and other pieces of information before you even start shopping? And if you feel like you don't have all of those pieces of information, it might be best to go back to your teacher or the IT department at your school and ask some questions or even a reputable uh, retailer to ask some tech questions before you get started. Well, that's you brought up a good point. Let's talk about best places to shop. Yes, yes. So there are so many options out there, right? And everybody wants a good deal right now. Um, but again, that makes it all that more important to be very careful about the companies that you're considering and the cost that they're providing. DBB recommends that you work with or you consider shopping with those familiar retailers where you have already, um, that you already know and trust and maybe you've had an experience with in the past. This can help set you up for the best case scenario for good customers service and quality products. Um, if you don't know the company all that well though, or maybe it's a familiar company, but you haven't purchased a large ticket item with them in the past, um, you know, this might be a good opportunity to take a look at a BBB business profile, learn a little bit more about them, or go out there and take a look at some customer reviews, just to learn more about what other customers have to say about their experience with the company. Well, and when you're spending dollars, big or small, we always want to be on the lookout for scams because the scammers are out there to get our money. Yes, yes, and they especially know uh, that we're shopping right now for these things. So um, the things you kind of want to watch out for are um, if you're on social media and you see um, an ad come up that could link to an imposter website. So be very careful. Scammers don't mind at all to take copies of legitimate companies, logos, uh, their color palettes, you know, pictures of products, things like that. So you want to be very careful. Additionally, you also want to watch out for those sales solicitations. They may come through your email box or your text. They may include links that could go to harmful malware. Uh, so be careful there. Um, beware of unusually low prices. This could signal that you're looking at a scam or maybe that the product is one that's refurbished or used or maybe has, um, you know, some defects to it. And um, some of those things you may not mind, but you want to at least be aware of, you know, and know about that before you make that purchase. And then finally, make sure that you use like a credit card whenever you make the purchase for your payment, because that can provide you the best um, opportunity for some protections if something goes wrong. Susan, thank you so much. All of this is great advice and very important. Thank you.